Hello everyone, and Kinsey here. So I'm back with another Japan video, and this time it's about game hunting because uh, my partner and I went to Sudugaya in Kyoto today, and they had Lucky Bags for Golden Week. And I didn't even know that was a thing, because I thought Lucky Bags, and if you don't know, Lucky Bags are usually like a one price thing, but it's a mystery what you get on the inside. It's kind of like a blind box, but with a lot more stuff in it. And I've always heard of these for like New Year's. They always have like New Year's Lucky Bags at a lot of department stores and stuff, and I've never heard of them for Golden Week, so I was super excited. Uh, we have two for the Super Famicom, and, the <laughs> and then we have one for the DS as well. So, and of course, in true Kinsey fashion, I also have a bunch of beers paired with it. So you know what? Let's just dig right in. So first lucky bag. And this one is a thousand yen. Well, they're all a thousand yen, which is like roughly 10 bucks. But with the exchange rate, the way it is right now, it's more like eight bucks US. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm really excited to see what we have in here. So yeah, Super Famicom, lucky bag. Let's see what we got. Okay. Ooh, use like super tape. Okay. First thing, we got Ranma One Half, an anime that I watched a lot of when I was younger. <laughs> so that's awesome! Yay! What else we got? There's a lot of games in here too. Hang on, let me. One, two, three, four, five. There's like ten games in here. Pretty good, 10 games, 10 bucks. All right, we have Supa Jogi. Supa Jogi. And I have a lot to learn about uh, Super Famicom game. Well, import gaming in general. Like, I feel like I know a decent amount, but there's definitely a lot of titles that I may not, may not know. <laughs> All right, and next up we have, wow, that is a, not a good font choice, but it's a baseball game and it's Gamba League? Gamba League. <laughs> In any, I feel like, Super Famicom or Famicom like Lucky Bag, you're always gonna get baseball and you're always gonna get Mahjong. So far no Mahjong, but baseball, yes. All right, next up we have, mm, Burasu Nanbasu. Burasu Nanbasu. I mean, just because I can read it doesn't mean I know what it means. But I'm excited to get, kind of jumpstart my collection. This one I got, Super Formation Soccer. I don't know, a lot of sports so far in here, but it's a good like jumpstart to the collection, I think, for just moving here. All right, more sports. New 3D Golf Simulation. All right. Super Mario World. Awesome. I don't have a Japanese copy of this, so that's really great. Ooh, Wild Tracks. This is what, Stunt Race FX in the US? And actually, uh, my boss at Chuhai Labs, Giles Goddard, worked on this one, so that's awesome. I didn't have a Japanese copy of it, so that's exciting. Ooh, uh, Sailor Moon S. Uh, there's quite a few of these on the Super Famicom. I'm trying to remember which one this is. This might be one of the puzzle games. But there's like puzzle games, fighting games, and beat em ups that are on the Super Famicom. And then, oh, burr, burr, a double. It's Ranma one half again. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Not bad though. I mean, honestly, like a lot of sports, but a lot of like good stuff as well. And next up, we have a beer. And in honor of the Lucky Bags, I went with Lucky Cat. They're actually both lucky, spoilers. Uh, but this is uh, from Kizakura Brewing, and that is a brewery in Kyoto that actually started by brewing sake, like in the 1920s or something like that, I'm pretty sure. And then they didn't start brewing craft beer until the mid 90s. So they have like a brewery and museum over, I think in the like Fushimi area of Kyoto. So. 
I wanted to keep it Kyoto. And these are just like perfect for this. And so Lucky Cat is a white ale that's brewed with some like yuzu and some Japanese peppers. So, or Japanese pepper. Like, like this, the, the seasoning, not the fruit. Oh no, are peppers fruits? <sighs> Pepper. <laughs> so, it's a white ale. So let's go ahead and try this. Ooh. It's a lucky brew from Kizukura. White ale. Ooh, no, it's heady. That's okay. I can definitely smell a little bit of like the yuzu. I don't know, because it's not a yuzu ale per se, it's a white ale, so they just like used a little bit of yuzu in the brewing process. So I don't like think it's gonna be too fruity, but definitely has that kind of white ale smell. Let's see. Oh, that's nice. It actually has a little bit stronger flavor than I thought it would. Um, it has a nice like, bite of bitterness to it that I really, really like that I was not expecting with a white ale. Ooh. Yeah, that's really nice. Good job, Lucky Cat. You did it. You did it. I usually avoid white ales, to be honest, too. It was just too perfect, Lucky Cat, but this is good. Ooh. Okay. Now for more Lucky Bags. Okay, this table is very small. I need to move some stuff around. Next up, we're gonna do Nintendo DS. Uh, I'm really excited about this one because the DS is like one of the few systems that I brought as far as handhelds go that, well, the original DS is uh, region free and I brought my Japanese 2DS anyways. Uh, so I really wanted to build up my like DS collection like being here since I'm gonna be able to it's something I'm already have a system for I'm excited. Let's dig right in This one was also a thousand yen Ooh, I'm so excited. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Okay, let me count them first one. I think it's also ten, also ten games Start off time hollow it looks very like visual novel, find the thing. <laughs> so, sweet. Ooh! <laughs> we got Draymon on the DS. And actually, Draymon, if you don't know, it's a really, really long running cartoon in Japan. And like a lot of like little kids watch it, but it's been around for such a long time. So, like, it's. He's like an institution now in Japan. Everyone knows who Doraemon is. And uh, I actually downloaded the demo for the farming game on Switch to help practice my Japanese. So something that's designed for little kids sometimes is really good to help your like language learning. So I'm excited for this. Although I have noticed that Doraemon speaks in a lot of like slang and like, uh, like regional dialect, so sometimes it can be a little bit hard to understand when you're new to the language, but sweet. That's awesome. All right. And now, ooh, Puyo Puyo. Nice. Transcends language barriers, because I love me some Puyo. Ooh. And new Super Mario Brothers. That's awesome. I don't have a Japanese copy of this. Well, I don't have many Japanese DS games, to be fair. I just have a few. But also, things you've already played before can really help with language learning as well. So I'm excited for this. See, this one's really good so far. Phoenix Wright. Awesome. I actually, I've never played a Phoenix Wright game. I've just, I don't know, I never have, but I wonder if like courtroom talk would be really hard to for a Japanese than like learning, but you know what? Whatever, it's great. Yay! Phoenix Wright. Ooh, God, it's so fucking cute. Uh, Nintendo Dogs. <laughs> this is the Shiba Inu one. I don't know if we got Shiba. I don't know what kind of Nintendo Dogs games we got because Shibas aren't as popular in the U.S. At least not when this came out. They kind of are now. But so sweet. That's cute. What else we got? Oh, good. Something I can't read. Oh, wait. It might be like a 
Plyaner. Gambaru. Diary. Oh, yeah, it is like a planner. Sweet. Yeah, it's a diary game, so you can, like, put your... I probably won't use it, but it's cool! <laughs> At least I figured out what it was. Step one. All right, next up we got Brain Age. Oh, man. Math in Japanese. Well, I guess math is just numbers, right? I could do that. Maybe? I could do that. <laughs> All right, we got two more. Oh, boy, what is this? This is a lot of kanji. Good. This, I believe, is also like a learning game, but pfft, it is gonna be beyond me. Maybe one day I'll come back to this and be able to read something. <laughs> this is fun though, because like a lot of like of these games we didn't get in the U.S., so a lot of these games I'm seeing for the very first time. I don't know what it is now, but you know what? I'll figure it out. Same with this one. Ah. Uh, Oh, this is totally also a learning game. This has like math and geography and stuff on the back. So it's, this is definitely also like an educational game, which once I get better at kanji, actually might not be so bad. It might be a good learning tool. But yeah, yeah, math, geography, are those yams? Got yams back there? I don't know. Sweet. <laughs> that was pretty good too. A lot of learning, a lot of learning stuff, but super excited to finally have like the Mario and the Drymon I think will be really good for language learning. So this is a, also a great jump start to my Japanese Nintendo DS selection. All right. And so next up is going to be another beer because nothing's going to improve me, my Japanese better than drinking. Great. <laughs> So next up, we have Lucky Dog this time. Lucky Cat, now Lucky Dog. Uh, same brewery, this is from Kizakura Brewing in Kyoto. And this one is an IPA, uh, specifically a Session IPA. So this one's 5% alcohol. Uh, actually, what was the other one? Oops, I didn't look. It's also 5%. Okay, good. 5%, 5% all around. So yeah, this is their Lucky Doug. It says, Lucky Brew is your friend that always brings good luck. Aw, thanks. Let's give us a lot of luck for this next Lucky Bag, huh, Lucky Doug? We got this, this one's gonna be good. Although that first Super Famicom one was really good. All right, let's try this Lucky Dog Session IPA. Come on, Kinsey, pour it better than the White Ale. You got it. A little bit better, a little bit better. Oh, not that much better. <laughs> Ooh, I can definitely smell the hops. I don't want to say it smells like a fresh hop because it's not a fresh hop beer, but it definitely has a little bit of that, like, leafy hop smell. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's quite bitter, but I like bitter things. So <laughs> I think like whenever I try IPAs in Japan, it's just so weird to me because it's like so different from an IPA, like especially in Seattle, like West Coast style IPAs. Like this to me, it tastes like a really, it's like a bitter pale is what it tastes like to me. Like it's not, it doesn't really have like that body and all the other, like its strongest flavor is bitterness, but it's pretty light for the most part. I think I like the white ale better. Who have I become? I usually don't like white ales. <laughs> this is all right though. I think, yeah, the lucky cat's better than the lucky dog. Sorry, doggy. It's really hard to describe the flavor because it's just so bitterness forward. It does smell pretty good though. It does have that like fresh hop, hop smell. I like that smell a lot. All right, lucky dog. Give me that luck boy. We have the, the last, last lucky bag. Super Famicom, also a thousand yen from Sudugaya in Kyoto. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, thank God, the tape they use is so strong. <laughs> I don't want anyone breaking into these lucky bags. 
Damn. Okay. All right. We got ten more Super Famicom games. First, Wild Tracks. Got another Wild Tracks. Sweet. Super Mario Kart. Okay, okay. I like the theme of this bag so far. I can get down with a bunch of kart racers. Well, there's not that many more, but. <laughs> so, Super Mario Kart. You know, these. this is a really good, like, jump start to the collection. Man, this is great. So, we got Super Power League, Hudson Soft Baseball Game. Of course, there's gonna be sports. They're gonna ditch a lot of their sports games in the lucky bags. <gasps> Goemon! so awesome and I actually love that like it's just like in the US it has like the little kid writing their name on the cart thing oh, I love that <laughs> I love Goemon that's awesome that I got one of those already uh, less excited for this hat trick hero what I believe that's soccer hat trick hero that's totally soccer but is that a, is that a soccer term that I don't know of no I don't it's not <laughs> What else do we got? We got another one of the horrible typeface font Gon Gomba League baseball. Although I do really like that picture. It's really cute. Because, uh, is that base? That's got to be baseball. But baseball doesn't have cheerleaders, so... You know what? Whatever. You, you do you, guy. All right. More soccer. Prime goal three. Prime? Prime, yeah, Prime can go three. <laughs> Overall, though, it's been pretty good. Got some decent Mario. Last one we got Sailor Moon. This one we got Goemon. It's great. Super Tennis. All right, wait, how many more do we have? We got two more. We got two more. Ooh, that is a lot of kanji. Oh, wow. Paken Len San. Jutsu. Great. That's what it says, but I don't know what it is. Oh, but there's a horseshoe. So <laughs> maybe horse racing? Maybe? Oh, actually, maybe. That might be the kanji for horse. Or it's not, and I just don't know. But it looks similar to it, so we got that going. Me and my Japanese. God, so good at it. All right, and the last thing we have is that sword supposed to be a letter? <laughs> Elfaria? I mean, it looks adventure-y and it's Hudson Soft. And I'll be really embarrassed if it came out in the US and I don't know what it is. But the guy looks really cute and I like adventures and I like Hudson Soft. So, sounds great to me. Perfect. All right. So, those are my three lucky bags from... Uh, Sudagaya in Kyoto. What did you think? Do you think it was worth $10 or I guess $8 with the way everything's going at the moment? But yeah, let me know. What what were your favorite games in these lucky bags? I fucking love lucky bags, man. I, I like a good gamble. <laughs> and overall, I mean, it, I think it was totally worth the thousand yen. Like not only are lucky bags fun to open, but like you know, a decent amount of the games, like we have Sailor Moon, we have Goemon, like, I think it's more than $10 in value. So it is random, but it's fun. And that's why I love Lucky Bags. So yeah, thanks for watching. And you can find me on the internet at Kinzilla, K-I-N-S-Z-I-L-L-A, -L -L on all the things, mostly active on Twitter, kind of Instagram, you'll find me. Uh, thanks for watching and cheers.